Alright, so, I love movies, so I'm going to do my own reviews. And the first movie I want to review is called Perfume, The Story of a Murderer. The name sounds pretty stupid, but actually, it's a phenomenal movie. Visually, to start off, visually, it is superb. Like, almost every scene is just utter beauty, even when there's just complete filth. Somehow they have a way of filming it, so they're just like, wow, it's just, it's full of just life, color, details has everything in it. My favorite visual scene is when uh, one woman, she's Rachel Herb Woods, that, that's her name, she's cutting lemons or something like that, and her skin is pale white, her hair is bright, 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 bright red, and she's cutting these as yellow as you can get lemons, and it's just, just try to imagine that, the most beautiful lemons you can see in your life, and she's cutting them, I mean, and it, I don't know, I like good visuals. So visually, yes, a great movie. Your eyes will be happy. Plot-wise, it's pretty freaky. From the very, f or not the very first scene, but there's a scene when the baby starts sniffing a finger, and right there you know the movie's going to be kind of odd. And it pretty much stays that odd throughout the entire movie. He's sniffing a lot of things, and it's kind of hard not to chuckle at some points, but eventually you just get used to it, and just kind of drone that out or whatever. It does have a little bit of meaning in it, he has one of those profound realizations halfway through the movie that make it makes it pretty interesting. It's actually really it's a really cool twist, I guess. Not a twist, but when it comes to that realization, you're like, wow, that's kind of I don't know. It's pretty cool. You'll see if you go see it. Um, the ending of the movie, it was I'd say it's pretty disappointing. I mean, I know it was based off a book, so they couldn't change the ending at all. But I don't know. I guess the, the way they filmed it up to that point. I was expecting so much, and I'm like, they filmed this so well, they can't have such a, you know, a bad ending, but I, I think it was a bad ending. I went with two of my friends, and all three of us thought it was a bad ending. Literally, everybody in the theater is laughing. I don't know if it was intended or not. I don't know. I mean, if anyone's read the book, they can let me know if that was supposed to be humor or not. A little freaky. It is kind of like a um, story, so it's obviously not based on true events. So, I mean, it's but it's far-fetched even beyond the fact that it's not true. I can't explain it very well, but it's just, it's extremely far-fetched that even in a movie, you wouldn't expect in something like this. It was just kind of awkward. It was kind of hard to derive the meaning for this movie because of the ending. Maybe it has a meaning, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I tried making my own meaning just because I loved the movie so much. I was determined to give it meaning. Overall, I say it's a great movie to go see. It's pretty freaky. You will enjoy it, and I'm out. Peace.